Well, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video. Today, we're going to be checking out a new entry in their whole McFarlane Collector's Edition. Yes, these are the $30 figures of which, not to beat a dead horse, but there's really nothing much in the box for $30. Bucks. You get the Penguin, you get a couple accessories, and you get the card stand. But this is the Platinum Edition version. How did I come across the Platinum Edition? Well, when I first saw that they were doing this version, this superpowers kind of coloring for the Penguin, I thought, okay, that would be great. I would love to have that variant edition. And then everyone started writing in on my Instagram saying, I went through Best Buy, and oddly enough, I ordered two. A couple people ordered one, and they still got it. But yes, I am getting the Platinum Edition of the Penguin if you do this. And... I kid you not, I tried it that evening, pick it up in the store the next morning. Yeah, okay, it's ready to go. I go in there. They had the regular, really nice looking black and orange penguin on the store shelves, which I thought, there's no way. So they had it in the back and it was all ready to go. You got to do the store pickup. I could see from down the way. So the girl goes in the back, goes to get it. She's kind of fussing around with stuff. I could see the box, right? She kind of got to it finally. I could only see the side of the box. She turned it to the side, and, and lo and behold, it was the Platinum Edition Penguin. And I let out an audible, oh, you know, bleep. <laughs> and the guy behind me picking up a laptop kind of let out a the confused thing. And when she brought it forward, it was more like, Oh, it's it's a penguin figure, of course. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what he was thinking. But still, it was funny. And at the same time, I was like, oh, my God, yeah, it's totally worked. So thank you to everyone again who wrote in and gave me the heads up. Hopefully, if you go through Best Buy or any other means, you can grab this Platinum Edition version as well. Back to the figure, of course, this is the Penguin. They're going to refer to it as the DC Classics Edition. The backside has some gorgeous artwork. Always love that more classic style look for the DC Universe. Even though the Penguin is riding a giant pterodactyl, of course. And if you crop it weird, well, it totally looks weird. Batman's face certainly says it all. Here's the barcode, and like I said, good luck if you're after the Platinum. But... Let me say one thing. I wanted this. It worked out for me. But honestly, it was not something I was going to put too much effort in. It just happened that this kind of transpired in a sequence of events, and it worked out. But please, don't get yourself into a tizzy over getting these Platinums. Please don't pay exorbitant prices. It doesn't matter anymore. And that's another thing that McFarlane Toys seems to be missing, is that... They're making these platinum figures, the ones that, and then like the coloring style and everything else, the ones that people would actually want are, for whatever reason, the platinums. But let me tell you this, and let me reassure you. If you look at the trend of McFarlane Toys over these last few years of them making DC Multiverse, these figures usually come back around some way, somehow. They know those are the moneymaker ones. They're going to do it more because they want to get your money. So, again, don't freak out. Don't go, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do it. 80 bucks, 100 bucks. It's not worth it. These figures are barely worth the $30. In fact, when I looked at this, I was like, oh, my God, it's 30 bucks. So I hope that this helps you. And it's really me just saying, look, if it works out in your favor, by all means, that's awesome. But don't beat yourself up over it. Don't uselessly waste your time going store after store after store. If you order it online, you get it that way. Or if you go through Best Buy randomly, sure. But please keep that in mind. If you don't get it now, these things always have a way of coming back. But anyways, we have a figure to look at. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Collector's Edition, the Penguin in his Superpowers Variant Platinum Edition. Here we go. So now here's the Penguin all out of the packaging. And like I said, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's it in the box, and no, I'm not going to count the card stand and the card. This is 30 bucks. I know a lot of you can say, well, it's a new mold. Yay. That's that's always good. I, I mean, I expect new molds. It's, it's an action figure line. He comes with a couple extra hands. You got a fisted hand. You got a more uh, a dapper 
cane holding hand. And then you actually get the penguin's umbrella, his umbrella cane in this instance. It's got a gold penguin head to it, but keep in mind, it's the same exact umbrella, umbrella cane that came with the Arkham penguin. And unfortunately, no, it's not the more eclectic, fun gun umbrella that is featured in the artwork. It's kind of a bummer. But again, if you crop it oddly, it looks weird in Batman's face, it says it all. With the gun umbrella, we're, we're just gonna call it the umbrella. It's red, it's got the gold, it's a little warped out of the box. It's really nothing special. And again, for the $30 price points, Where's all the cool penguin stuff? You do get a penguin, and it's cool. And he's got a sweet top hat, and he's got some great colors for this Platinum Edition. I kid you not. He's even got the cool nose, and he's got a great head sculpt to it. It's a great looking penguin figure. That's not the issue here. We all expect some level of like, well, this is a collector's edition. Heck yeah, it looks great. I'm not gonna dispute that. No, the top hat's not gonna come off. In fact, I kind of looked underneath, and it looks like if you were to cut it off, you're not going to get much of a head. It kind of goes to like a cube kind of thing. That's just kind of what I'm thinking is underneath that old top hat of his. The pants could have had some pinstripes to it too. That would have been nice. The tails of his coat. That's a nice touch. Love that. When a penguin has coat tails like that, very superpowers. The coat itself has a little bit of texture to it. But if you look at the arms, and just to kind of point this out right here, if it's an all black coat, like the other main version the penguin has, you're not gonna notice this. But this part of the arm right here at the lower section, gets very, very detailed out, and then the paint doesn't exactly match. It's not gonna necessarily show up on camera here, but it's a little bit of a different colored blue, and it has a little bit more of a wash than the rest of the coat, so that's, again, something to point out for a collector's edition. You got the white shirt, you got the yellow vest, kind of mimicking superpowers. To reiterate, yes, pinstripes on the pants would've been great. You did it for the Joker, Oh, that would have been nice for the Penguin. That would have been really cool to see. Again, harkening back to the collector's edition. I love his blue shoes. He's got the spats. That's cool. He's ready for Disney Dapper Day. He's in his Easter Sunday best. You got plenty of articulation. In fact, yes, as being a new figure, he's actually quite agile for a little penguin man and you'll get plenty of that McFarlane articulation out of him including the hands and the double joints and getting the little fingers up on his top hat to kind of dip it or you can hold the monocle things like that that's cool that totally works when you want to go ahead and pose him out and what's actually kind of shocking and I was kind of hoping that it would work this way he has quite the rotund gut crunch the pants are all sculpted that looks nice the tails stick out that's cool. If you want to ab crunch the penguin of all characters, by all means. He's got single jointed knees. He's got some spat up and down, left and right. Not really going to rotate. The very minimal on the shoes, except for the toes and everything else. But you get the idea. It's a well articulated penguin for the character of the penguin. When he wants to hold his gun umbrella, yeah, you have the corresponding hands. But again, to reiterate, it's just an umbrella, so you kind of have to go, oh, yeah, oh, it's a gun umbrella. It's a gun umbrella, everybody. Check it out. But it's not really, and you know that deep, dark secret, but you can't let anyone else know. Anyone that doesn't know about the penguin and this horrible, horrible secret, yeah, you're going to keep it to yourself, and it's going to eat away at you over time, and you're going to have to tell somebody. But, yes, he does look good holding the umbrella, maybe holding it as a cane, maybe tipping his hat. Yes, I definitely like all of that. And you really wanted to jazz him up a bit, you can give him a Tommy gun and he does look good. He's not gonna necessarily hold it beautifully, perfectly by any means, but that's still pretty cool. But how does he square in terms of scale for Batman and Robin? Well, yes, the Penguin is supposed to be more of a shorter character and thank God, yes, he is shorter than Batman. He will work just fine. He's possibly a little bit too tall for the character of the Penguin. He gets a little bit more height with the top hat, but I would say that it's decent for what it is. And with all the Batman villains that DC Multiverse has tackled thus far, yes, he's the shortest one, as he should be, so that all goes together. And that's a nice schmattering of Batman villains, especially when you got Riddler, Mr. Freeze, and Joker. Lots of colors, lots of fun. Definitely fits well with this round of villains. And I definitely hope to see a lot more in the future. So that's going to wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new McFarlane Toys, the Collector's Edition Penguin, the Platinum Variants. 
You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything about the collector's edition. And before we go, to sum up things in terms of McFarlane toys lately, it hasn't been fun collecting these. And I think that that seems to be the general sort of idea consensus around this DC multiverse line. You can't just get the platinum variants that you want. And yes, we all know that platinum variants are the chase figures, but that idea has become so antiquated. It wasn't fun back in the day with Marvel Legends, and it's certainly not fun now in this day and age. I would hope that they'd see this and, oh, let's not make the Blue Azrael the variant chase figure, and let's not make the superpowers Penguin the variant chase figure. In fact, we'll just do a Penguin, and then three, four, five waves later, we'll do another Penguin, and that's the way to get the reissues out. You're kind of alienating your fan base here, and I'm not the only one saying it. I'm not the only one thinking it. I had to go jump through a bunch of hoops to get this. Was it fun? No, it wasn't fun. D is it fun that it worked out? Yes. It's fun in that sense. Always, when you succeed, you're like, yes, you get a little pat on the back. But had I not succeeded, it would have been another, well, that didn't work out. I'm over it. So you kind of have to take your wins and you take your losses more so than anything. Wasting gas, wasting time, wasting energy is not fun anymore in this day and age, in the age of what collecting has become. So... I would say with Platinums, with Variants, with anything, and that goes across the board with all the various companies, that mentality of collecting is dead. It's not working out anymore, and it only fuels people more saying, okay, I can't get the characters I want, and I'm going to go with a different company, a different brand, a different line. I'm over DC Multiverse. What else you got? And people are jumping ship left and right. I see it all the time. So hopefully... We see a little bit of change. They start acknowledging all this kind of stuff, and then we kind of see a stoppage with too many variants, especially the variants that we want for our collections. And that's my two cents. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.